Let's go Kent Hughes. With the Northeastern University Huskies season coming to a close the other day, we've had a few of these guys sign contracts with their NHL clubs. Ada McDonough signed a contract with the Vancouver Canucks, and earlier today it was announced the Canadians have signed Jaden Struble to a two-year ELC from 23-24 to 24-25 with this defenseman. Pretty good move, if I do say so myself, and one that a lot of Canadians fans were kind of anticipating. Like, there wasn't any guarantee that Jaden Struble was going to sign. However, with all the development going on and with this guy being in the system since 2018, there was a lot of reason to believe that if the Canadians could get this done, they would. And they indeed did here earlier today. Take a look at the website. This is the article, or the press release, I guess you could say. The 21-year-old turns pro after a four-year collegiate career. 21-year-old? Wasn't he drafted in 2018? Oh no, 2019, excuse me. Okay, yeah, so he's actually older than I thought he was, or younger, excuse me. Montreal Canadiens GM Kent Hughes announced on Wednesday that the team has agreed to terms on a two-year ELC with Jaden Struble. Struble also signed an AHL contract, allowing him to finish the current season with the Laval Rocket. The agreement will see Struble earn $775,000 per season at the NHL level and contain signing bonus payments of $92,500 each year. He is set to make $70,000 per season at the AHL level. Struble, 21, scored one goal and added 11 assists in 31 games this year with the Huskies in the Hockey East Conference. In 104 career games at the collegiate level, the 6 foot 205 Pound Blue Liner scored 48 points, 9 goals, 39 assists. The Cumberland, Rhode Island native was selected in the third round of the Canadians in the 2019 draft. So that kind of goes over all you need to know pretty much about Struble, but it was already announced by Renault Lavoie here that he will be in the AHL for the remainder of the season. His ELC for the NHL will begin next year, which is why it's also highlighted here that it starts out in 2023-2024. This is actually pretty good because it allows him to participate in the AHL's playoffs, I'm pretty sure. I know there was some sort of a conversation about the deadline. Okay, the AHL has its own trade deadline and the rosters and everything, but I don't think that applies to prospects who are in the system that had just been, you know, playing in the NCAA like Struble had been. But interesting to note here about Jaden Struble has always been the profile of this guy. When he was drafted back in 2018-19, he was just a regular dude out of the USHS prep school where he had 40 points in 28 games played. However, he made really big headlines at the draft combine because he was above and beyond the strongest player in this entire draft class. When it came to the bench pressing and the grip strength and all that, Jaden Struble was a menace. And we made a video talking about this after the guy was drafted saying, hey, he was really strong. Like, literally, he was above and beyond in terms of the physical attributes that he was able to exhibit. Now, after four seasons with Northeastern, he wasn't really a point-producing defenseman, but more so just a guy who was reliable. He was physical. He could get penalty minutes when he wanted to. And... Overall, he was just a pretty solid guy. So, heading over to Laval, heading over to Montreal, maybe even, I'm not going to expect Struble to ever become, let's say, a big 35-40 point defenseman at the NHL level. Sure, it would be nice if he got that, but as indicated by his point production, aside from the 12-point and 18-game stint he had in 2020-2021, we're probably going to see more so of a two-way capable guy that maybe maxes out at 20-25 points on a career high, but who provides some pretty solid two-way play and physicality on top of that. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Jaden Struble getting signed by the Montreal Canadiens. Good work, Kent Hughes. He got it done. I'm super happy to see it myself, but you can let me know in the comments all your opinions. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishra Shros 99. And, bye.